Do you actually want to carry an ID? And if you say yes, why? What exactly will an ID give you that you don't have today with your passport? Your passport is your form of identification and um, you can use that with your driver's license. So there's no real need for an ID card as such. And if an ID card would seriously stop terrorism, then wouldn't a passport stop terrorism? And we all know that terrorists and criminals don't travel under their own passport. They use fake ones or they use somebody else's. So I can't see how an ID card will almost immediately be cloned and um, they're putting RFID chips into your passport. Well, have you seen how easy it is to clone an RFID chip? You walk into Starbucks and you can read everything about somebody, including their bank details and their Amex, and you can almost hack the system before they've even paid their own bill because the decryption occurs literally at the till point. So as soon as they start paying for items, you can scan and you can pick up their details in the bank accounts and go shopping almost immediately because it's not, you know, at some back office that does some highly secure encryption. It's, it's all for convenience. And the same thing is true for the RFID chip in your passport. You can walk into an airport or Starbucks and clone almost everybody's ID there. And the government is saying this will stop terrorism. I can't see that happening ever. And they've actually made it easier to steal your, your bank account and, and your identity than it was with the old fashion. Um, I'm stunned. I'm stunned that the government tells people this and that no one is actually coming out and saying this is so easy to clone that it it's almost laughable that this is more secure. It, 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 there's no question about it. The insecurity of RFID chip. There's no question about insecurity of any banking account that uses RFID. It's it's a breeze in the park for a hacker. Um, and you know, all I can say is that please join the No to ID campaign. Please have a look on YouTube for how to hack an RFID chip, and and learn that that. It basically the technology is out of date before the government's even introduced it and so our safest option is not to induce it at all if that makes sense and it saves an awful lot of money too so as I say please would you join the no to ID have a look at the issues the databases contact point the NHS spine have a look at all the different issues that the, that the government are bringing in and, and realize what this database state and this surveillance society is going to be like and how prone it is to human error and how insecure it is in essence and and then hopefully you'll write your MP and you'll say you know I, I've looked on, on YouTube and I've seen them hacking this and it really doesn't look too good so with a little bit of cooperation and knowledge between all of us we can stop this, which will be um, the best thing that could possibly happen for the United Kingdom. Goodbye.